Hi, welcome to my classroom. I want to share with you one of my favorite classroom technologies. Now, normally in a classroom like this, you have two projectors at the back, and you usually see something that looks like this. Here's a slide, some bullets, blah, blah, blah. If you want this half of the room to get in on the knowledge, you can run the same laptop image on both screens. Here's some bullets, blah, blah, blah. And away we go. We have multiple inputs on the console. So, for example, we could have our laptop projected over there and our document camera projected over here on the other screen. And we could have some instructions. So here's how to draw a happy face. Step one, draw a big circle. Step two, draw some eyes. And step three, draw a big old smile. Right, so you can have multiple inputs like that. That's the typical kind of thing you see in a classroom like this with a couple of projectors. What I wanted to show you is a way that you can control, for example, your left projector and your right projector from the laptop. Now I've got a laptop here and I've got a little uh, key stand remote control that's on changing the slides. So how does this magic work? What does it look like? Well, you can do something like this. So we have some data and some bullet points like before, but now that could stay up there. We can have some more data over here and some more bullet points over here. So we can double the amount of content that's showing up on the screen. The way we do this is with a little black box called a matrox box. There it is right there. Matrox is the name of the company. The box I'm using is called dual head to go. You also have triple head to go if you want to split your screen into three other outputs. Um, this is an analog one, so it splits into VGA. They have digital video ones, but it works really slick. What it's doing is it's saying this projector over here is VGA 1024 by 768. This projector over here is 1024 by 768. What we're going to do is we're going to mash those together into one video signal coming into the matrox box, which is 2048 by 768. So we're going to take that signal and split it across the two. So there's our matrix black box again. Turn it on its side. I said the signal coming in is 2048 by 768. And we have two outputs. One for the left screen and one for the right screen. Both of VGA quality. And once you start thinking about both screens as your canvas instead of separate screens, you can start doing some interesting thing. So here's a great theatrical approach. Just one second. principles for presentations and design, and we end up with a reworked image. So you can do side-by-side, -side, head to head comparisons. We have this canvas, which has got this massive landscape orientation, so we can leverage that for content that is by nature landscape. So for example, I teach business. One of the tools we use is the business model canvas. Here it is here, landscape orientation. People in the back row might have trouble seeing those titles and so on. But, you know, we can throw some words up there, talk about the canvas. If I expand the canvas across both screens, like this, now it's much easier to read those things in the back row. So once you stop thinking about, I've got screen one, screen two, and start thinking about, I have massive screen, I have this giant canvas that I can play with, you'll start to change up how your presentations look and feel. All it takes is about $200 to buy a matrox box 
and uh, change the setup on your presentation software, and away you go. So there's one of my favorite teaching technologies, the Matrox tool, ahead to go. Thank you. Thank you.